Caleb Jones, uh, you know, we're, we're about 10 practices in. Just talk to me about how training camp has gone so far. Are you feeling good as far as just momentum going into this first preseason game here this weekend? Uh, it's been good, you know, just being out here, being more comfortable. For my for real year two with, with Minnesota. So just uh, trying to build, trying to stack brick by brick with things, uh, fundamentals and stuff like that. You talk about being comfortable. How tough is it to get comfortable, not only with some new quarterback, excuse me, quarterbacks in the mix, but, but a new offensive coordinator as well. How's that transition been for not just you, but the whole offense as a whole? Uh, you know, it's always, I wouldn't say difficult, but it's always a challenge when you have to learn a new offense. So just, you know, uh, you know, being patient each day and, and getting the chemistry we need down throughout the spring. Now I feel comfortable with the guys that we got here, obviously, and just trying to work and stay on top of things. So. Absolutely. Uh, the, the switch, uh, you were in Mankato last year, now you're in Egan. Um, can you just talk about maybe the, the, the transition going to not only a new city and a new field, but just, just kind of how everything's been embracing you guys so far here in Egan? Yeah, I mean, I learned the Mankato tradition last year, which was which was awesome and new to me. I, I just, uh, you know, it's awesome to be at this building because it's the amount of recovery stuff we have or we have access to. So that's been cool and uh, it just helps us out. We're able to, you know, be comfortable in it. Place we brought all of our things and we're not traveling so we're at home right absolutely is, is there uh one or two things that you've noticed about the the new playbook or or just your offensive coordinator coach flip um and, and maybe it has become apparent for you why he's been so good uh, not not only last year in philly but some other places that he's been i mean what is it about him that that makes him so efficient on this offense uh first of all chris flip is one of the most energetic and uh just positive coaches that I've ever been around every day he he's the one that brings in the, uh, the juice for us and you know as far as the, the playbook side you saw what Philly did last year so um, I had a chance to be with him briefly in Philly my rookie year so uh, it's been cool learning from him and seeing how he's he's taking the guys that we had on the roster and plugging them in different spots and he really allows everybody on the roster to make plays so just if you know your playbook you'll have the opportunity to come in and contribute. So it's really not about one guy in an offense. He, he likes to spread around and find those mismatches wherever they may be at any point in the, the, the game or, or throughout the season as well, it seems like. Um, yeah, like, you know, like I said, if you watch Philly from last year, you know, they really don't have uh, huge stat guys. They have guys that are productive all the way across the board, which is is really cool in, at the NFL level. So um, we have we have our focal point guys and the guys that we, we evolve the offense around, but. This offense allows everybody to contribute if you know your stuff and stuff like that. So, How are you doing mentally? I know it's very early in the season. You're very early in your career, though, as mm -hmm. well. I mean, is there any specific goals that you had coming into this year that yeah. you personally wanted to obtain? Uh, you know what? Mentally, I went through a very up and down spring uh, with, you know, off the mm -hmm. field with my family, uh, dealing with a suspension mm -hmm. and, and stuff like that I've never dealt with before, never mm -hmm. had experience with before. So I, would, I didn't really know how to come in and, uh, you know, embrace the challenge that I had ahead of me. And it was very hard to be comfortable because I never dealt with those things. So I felt like I had a rough spring. I feel like now I'm comfortable. I know where I stand. I know what I'm, what's at stake. And my mentality versus last year is not making it. It's, it's making it and contributing and knowing where I can fit in and how I can, uh, you know, you know uh, dominate on special teams in, in certain facets of the game and dominate when I get in a situation where I'm able to play on offense. So. Just having the confidence in myself and just being able to uh, contribute and be consistent day after day, that's been big for me. That's been my focus. You know, it's tough to make it in the NFL just in general, but pretty rare to have two brothers in the mm -hmm. NFL as well uh, uh, without putting words in his mouth. How, how's Zay doing? How's your brother doing? Do you guys keep in t uh, contact uh, throughout the season? And, and um, you know, how's his journey going so far too? Uh, you know what? Me and Zay talk every day. And uh, Zay is somebody that's always done everything right and always been on top of his stuff. I've been the one that's, you know, gone wrong here and there throughout high school, whatever you want to say. But um, I'm proud of him for overcoming the stuff that he's overcame, for dealing with the, all the negative publicity, all the negative, uh, you know, everything that's came, whether it's social media, whether it's anything. I'm proud of him for where he's at today. And, you know, he's practicing again. He's going to be a dominant force for his team. He's focused, um, you know, Buffalo can rely on him. And, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm proud of him. Love to hear that support between you guys and wishing you the best of luck appreciate as well. All right, man. Yeah, really you got it. it. Yeah, absolutely.